We're searching for the Hakka spirit in Longnan's Misty Mountains. You might be a bit lost. Where they have 99 peaks and rice wine for fun. We're here in Longnan and it is absolutely pouring. We're at the foot of the Wudang Mountains, at the southern end of Jiangxi Province and at the border of Guangdong. It's known as the Greeting Mountain or the Send Off Mountain. Tectonic shifts 200 million years ago created 99 spectacular peaks which jut into the sky. It looks pretty fabulous. Can't wait to get up. Peter and I are in the heart of Hakka Country in southern Jiangxi Province. Ganzhou, the prefecture level city, covers nearly 40,000 square kilometers, putting it ahead of Bhutan but behind Switzerland, size wise. Ganzhou was not a people magnet due to the difficulty of farming at an elevation. But soon the mountains were alive with migrating Hakka on their way south. This lady climbs almost 2,000 stairs every day to bring the lunchbox to the workers up top. It's true, heroes wear turquoise blue boots. After more than 2,000 stairs, we're at the top of the mountain. It's a very long carriageway that basically winds its way around some of the more accessible peaks. It's pretty misty up here and visibility can be tough sometimes. But all you need to do is wait a few minutes and it clears right up and you're in for a treat. There are more than 12 kilometers of these cliffside trails. And once you get to the top, it really evens out, and it's mostly flat from there on. At 400 meters up, it's all tempered glass, which is perfectly safe. You're not supposed to jump on it, but it will withstand a shock. However, you're not supposed to wear high heels. It's a good thing Peter left his Jimmy Choo's at home. Special delivery. Looking out below, the prototypical Hakka village, hillbound and intensely farmed. Hakka was derogatory to this cloistered tribe originally from around Shangxi meaning guest people. They're the only group not named after a location in China. They seized the term, made it their own, and shaped it into its current day repute. Being the perpetual new kids on the block relegated to the most marginal lands, they developed a pioneer's hardiness and a fame for clannishness. Their dialect, culture, and food was alien, so they developed fully enclosed towns out of prudence and collective defense. I've been to the Hakka houses in Fujian, and this place is square, but it's pretty similar. And while it's a UNESCO site over in Fujian, it is a little kitschy. It's safe to say that this fortress house is very authentic. Nobody's trying to sell me anything, and it's mostly old people going about their days. It's kind of European, almost. From the 18th century onward, Hakka spread overseas in huge numbers. There's a saying, where there's sunshine, there's Chinese. Well, the second half of that ought to be, where there's Chinese, there's Hakka. Like Some estimate 80% of the Chinese diaspora are originally Hakka. Hakka made up 70% of the soldiers who undertook China's long march. Many of the politicians of Chinese descent in the New World are Hakka. But before they left China for new and strange lands, they left their home in northern China around the 4th century. Legend has it upon their arrival here in southern China, the god of mercy gifted them Hakka rice wine to heal them after their long travel. The wine is traditionally brewed only by women and is known as mother's wine. We're still in Longnan, just a few steps from the mountainside, where they make their own Hakka rice wine. Here are the steps. First step, clean the rice. Second step, boil it. Third step, they let it ferment for one to three months, depending on the proof and the quality. After fermentation, they squeeze out any impurities in the rice wine. And then the final most important step, they bury the pots in dried rice stalks and set fire to it. My name is Lai Jiang, I'm a teacher. After it's cooked, we'll use a tin to 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 use a tin. 这个工艺呢，主要目的是为了去除酒中的一个湿气，增强这酒的一个温补性。And apparently, all traditional Hakka women get plenty of it after childbirth, which I guess a lot of women would appreciate after going dry for nine months. It's, it's watery. This might be the best kind of like rice wine I've ever had, like better than sake. Yang Gong. 
delicious. Peter, you gotta try some. I can drink many, many cups of this. Without a doubt, our journey here has shown us that the Hakka spirit remains alive and well in Ganjo. Well, that was the most fun I've ever had with sticky rice. What about you, Peter? Yeah. Tune in next week when we head up our second Hakka village and get up close and personal. See you then.